Hello everyone. I am Dr. Sirajul Akfaisi. I welcome you in my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I am going to talk about quantum mechanics and of course Schrodinger equation. So what is quantum mechanics? what is basic or introductory part of this we will learn in this video so let us start you know classical mechanics and quantum mechanics what is the meaning of mechanics mechanics the behavior a study of matter when it is in motion is called as mechanics the word motion is important here now classical mechanics and quantum mechanics classical mechanics describing the motion of macroscopic object macroscopic means measurable or observable by naked eye quantum mechanics describing behavior of systems at atomic scales and a smaller that is microscopic object i hope these mechanics classical mechanics and quantum mechanics microscopic and microscopic term clear to you now why quantum mechanics is introduced and are necessary of quantum mechanics what is the answer of this question you know, my friend, quantum mechanics is introduced after the failure of classical mechanics. Earlier, it was thought that the laws of classical mechanics could explain the motion of both macroscopic and microscopic particles. But later on, experimental studies show that classical mechanics failed when applied to microscopic objects such as electron and photon. I hope this question is also clear to you. So, limitations of classical theory of radiation. Classical theory of radiation was not able to explain the following observation. What observation? Black body radiation, photoelectric effect, Compton effect, variation of heat capacity of solid, as a function of temperature, line spectrum of atom with a special reference to hydrogen. What is photoelectric effect? You know, the emission of electrons from a metal plate when illuminated by light or any radiations of suitable wavelength or frequency is called photoelectric effect. So, you can see here incident light with frequency on metal surface or metal plate emitted electrons kinetic energy now you can see graphical presentation frequency versus t max this is the experimental research now focus on this v naught inconsistency with classical light theory according to the classical wave theory Maximum kinetic energy of photoelectrons is only dependent on the incident intensity of current and independent on the light frequency. However, the experimental results show that the kinetic energy of the photoelectron is dependent on the light frequency. So, another important topic, black body radiation. You know, black body is an ideal body which allows the whole of the incident radiation to pass into itself without reflecting the energy and absorbed within itself this whole incident radiation without passing on the energy and this property valid for radiation corresponding to the all wavelength and to all angles of a cylinder. Therefore, the body is an ideal absorber of incident radiation means black body now compton effect 
what is Compton effect? When a monochromatic beam of X-ray is scattered from a material, then both the wavelength of primary radiation, unmodified radiation, and the radiations of higher wavelength, modified radiations, are found to be present in the scattered radiation. Presence of modified radiation in a scattered X-ray is called Compton effects. So Max Planck's in 1900, Max Planck's initiated quantum physics by presenting his quantum theory. He was awarded Nobel Prize in Physics in 1918. So Planck quantum theory. Main point of this theory are energy is not emitted or absorbed continuously. It is emitted or absorbed in the form of wave packets of quantum. In case of light, the quantum of energy is often called photon. The amount of energy associated with the quantum of radiation is directly proportional to the frequency of radiation. E directly proportional to frequency I is equal to h nu. A body can emit or absorb energy only in term of integral multiple of quantum or photon E is equal to n h nu when n is equal to 1, 2, 3. So, why classical mechanics failed for a microscopic object? The answer is this is mainly because classical mechanics did not take into account the concept of de Broglie dual nature of matter in Heisenberg uncertainty test. Also, it does not put any restriction on the value of dynamic property such as position and magnitudes. Calculated for the microscopic object and hence classical mechanics was failed. Therefore, to understand the behavior of such object, quantum mechanics are introduce. So, wave particle duality. Particles like wave behavior, examples photoelectric effects. Wave like particles behavior, example division, germer experiments. So, wave particle duality. You know the mathematical descriptions, the momentum of a photon is P is equal to H by lambda. And wavelength of a particle is lambda is equal to h by p. And lambda is called the de Broglie wavelength. Now, you know the de Broglie dual nature of matter proposed by French physicist Louis Victor de Broglie. He suggested that just as radiation processes dual behavior, wave nature as well as particle nature, all microscopic and macroscopic material also possesses dual nature, wave and particle nature. Dual de Broglie gave the following relations between wavelength and momentum of a material particles. You can see H by P lambda is equal to. So uncertainty principle. Heisenberg uncertainty principle, you know, in 1927, it is possible to simultaneously describe with absolute accuracy the position and momentum of a moving microscopic particle. Del P del X is equal to greater than H by 4 pi. It is possible to simultaneously describe with absolute accuracy the energy of a particle and instant of time the particle has this energy. So del E del T is equal to greater than H by 4 pi. The Heisenberg uncertainty principle applies to electrons and state that we cannot determine the exact positions of an electron. Instead we could determine the probability of finding an electron at a particular position. So Schrodinger wave equation. You know, Schrodinger equation is the fundamental equation of the science of submicroscopic phenomena of quantum mechanics. So, the equation developed 
in 1926 by the Einstein physics. Erwin Schrödinger has the same central importance to quantum mechanics as Newton's law of motion have for the large scale phenomenon of classical mechanics. So, what Schrodinger equation? The Schrodinger equation is a linear partial differential equation that describes the wave function or state function of a quantum mechanical system. E essentially, a wave equation, the Schrodinger equation describes the form of the probability wave or wave function that govern the motion of a small particle. It specifies how these waves are altered by the external influences. Schrodinger established the correctness of the equation by applying it to the hydrogen atom, predicting many of its properties with remarkable accuracy. And this equation is used extensively in atomic nuclear and solid state physics. So, you can see time independent Schrodinger equation and time dependent Schrodinger equation. If the particle is moving in three dimensional space, then you can see this is the equation and time dependent, this is the form, mathematical form of the equation. So time dependent Schrodinger equation without potential E is equal to T and with potential E is equal to T plus V. You can see IH cross dou psi RT by DT, H cross square by 2N del psi RT. So, Irwin Rudolf Joseph Alexander Schrodinger on theory. Now, equation takes into account the dual nature of matter and is given. You can see psi is the amplitude of electrons wave, x, y, z coordinate of electron, e total energy and you can see the potential energy of the electrons and a mass of electrons and h Planck constants, do psi, do square psi by do x square is the second derivative of with respect to psi with respect to x. The solution of Schrodinger wave equation for an electron gives the value of E and psi. The value of E represents the possible values of energy which the electrons in the atoms can occupy. The corresponding value of psi are called wave function and the wave function corresponding to uh, an energy state contains all the information about the electrons which is absent in that state. So what is wave function? The quantity with which quantum mechanics is concerned is the wave function of a body. The wave function psi is a quantity associated with moving particle and it is a complex quantity. The modulus of psi square is proportional to the probability of finding a particle at a particular point at a particular time. It is the time probability, it is the probability density you can see here. So, the properties of a function, it must be finite everywhere. If psi is finite for a particular point, it means an infinite large probability of finding the particle at that point and this would violate the certain principle. It must be single value if psi has more than one value at any point, it means more than one value of probability at finding the particle at that point, which is obviously wrong. It must be continuous and have a continuous first derivative everywhere. It must be normalizable. It must be bounded in the space. So my friends, I hope this video will be helpful to you. If you like this video, then subscribe my channel and thanks for watching.